Oh, hold on, hold on, my, my man, very, very soon. Yeah. Hey, so welcome to another Cutting the Caboose. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about online scams and top five tips on how you can avoid them. Yeah. So I often review dodgy looking items that I find online. Usually these are items which are, have, they have dubious claims. Uh, they usually weight loss or, you know, health related products. And that's fine. People who sell them are unscrupulous and do some due diligence, but you kind of do get the thing that is advertised. However, there are some companies out there who just lie. They sell fake products or the wrong products. They are scams, pure and simple. Case in point, I recently saw on my feed on Facebook an advert for an Iron Man mask at the remarkably low price of $50. Now this mask was a full face mask, it had a lifting visor, it had sound effects and batteries and looked really good. And I thought that'll be really good, it's a set item, I can put it as a prop in the backdrop there or in the other studio and it'll be great. £50 though, that seems awfully cheap for what it was. And I did a little bit of checking and this company, they don't have the best record shall we say. So I thought, you know what? I'm probably going to get ripped off here, but I'm going to buy it anyway, and I can't really lose. I'm either going to get actually a pretty cool Iron Man mask, which I can use as a prop, or run around the house pretending to be Iron Man, scaring the cats, or I get to some content on online scams. Kind of win-win. And it was the latter. It was an absolute scam. So, <laughs> here's, here's what actually came for 50 of my Earth Pounds. This rubber, not even very good rubber, stinky a kind of a bad Star-Lord mask. I mean, this is not Iron Man. It's, kind of, it's in the same universe, I guess. But it's what, two, three pounds worth of latex at best. So that's basically what I got, a piece of crap rubber mask. Now, here's the thing, um, I, I, I kind of went into this with my eyes open, so I was expecting it to be kind of garbage, but a lot of people don't. A lot of people see these things online and think, these are brilliant, especially at Christmas time when people are looking to get gifts. And some people, a lot of people, I mean, this 50 pounds, it's quite expensive for what it is. It's a lot of money to put out on, on a piece of junk. I'm kind of annoyed at these companies. Now I've put a claim in through PayPal and from, I will get my money back. And I'll, I'll explain how you can protect yourself from this as well. But these companies are so unscrupulous and they're usually offshore. They're hardly ever from the country that you're in. The deals are too good to be true. So let's cover how to avoid falling for these crappy, these crappy scams. So sadly, this particular company, they have scammed a lot of people. I'll explain how to cover this, but if you if you look at the actual company is called ZG Technology Limited, and they seem to be registered in China, although many of their websites claim that they're American or European. But if you Google them, you'll find out that they have scammed and scammed and scammed. They do this to thousands of people. They're raking in an awful lot of money, and it's very easy to do it the way they're doing it too. And they just dupe people, and then they'll disappear. They will vanish from the face of the earth pocketing an awful lot of money. Let's cover the top five ways you can use to stop these scummy scum lords, not star lords, taking your money. How can you keep yourself safe online? Number five, even if you're using PayPal, still always use a credit card for that purchase. There's a way of bending the rules in PayPal where you can ask for the item to be returned to you. Now it's a 50 pound purchase, that item is worth two pounds, but to send it back it's going to cost to China, signed for, that's going to cost about ten pounds. So you're going to be out of pocket to get your fifty pounds back. So a lot of people simply won't bother because at this point they think, ah, oh, sod it, I can't be bothered anymore. However, if you use your credit card, you can issue a full charge back at your credit card. You haven't got to worry so much about, you know, returning the item, although read up on this to be sure, but always use your credit card. So even if PayPal then wash their hands of it, you can still go back to your credit card. Be warned though, PayPal don't like you doing that and you may lose your PayPal account. Just keep that in mind. That's like, that's like a last resort type thing. And there's some better tips coming up which may even stop you getting this far in the first place, okay? But always use a credit card for online payments, never a debit card. Number four, before you make a purchase, Google the company and Google the item that they're selling. 
unless it's a brand new company, if they're bogus, people will be complaining on forums online very, very quickly. Now, if nothing comes up from them, good or bad, I would hold off buying it at all because they're a brand new company. So use Google to look for positive feedback. And if you can't find any positive feedback or if you can't find any feedback, you know what? Probably better off walking away because the chances are that a brand new page with a brand new product and a brand new scam. So time is your friend here. If you can leave a few days or a few weeks past before you hit that buy button, you'll get some feedback online. Now what companies will often do to stop you waiting it out, to say time limited offer, only 50 remain or something or other. You know what? Kind of use that as a, um, a do not buy sign. You do not go to the trouble of setting up a website and setting up an e-commerce platform to sell 50 items. You simply don't. It's expensive to do, and if you're only selling 50 of something, you're never going to get your money back. So don't be suckered in by those, you know, time-limited offer, allow time to pass. I think that was two tips in one there. Ah. Number three, email the company. Drop them an email and say, hey, I'm thinking of buying this item. Can you confirm it's exactly as advertised, please? Then you've got a name, you've got a contact, you've got an email trail, you've got evidence. All of that can then be used with PayPal in terms of a, a legal dispute. It gives you much more evidence to back up your claim, or you can take it to your credit card company or whatever. So it's it's even more evidence, especially if, for example, with, with this company, with ZG Technology Co. Limited, they have taken down all the links that they had advertising this fake Iron Man mask. They're now gone. So it's now quite hard to go back and check the description of the item you've purchased because they've taken it offline. So by having an email thread confirming what you're buying with your order and checking the, the, the features that you're supposed to be getting for your money, you've got evidence that you can use when you're making your claim. And also, they probably won't reply to you if it's a scam, so email them. Number two, and this is one that people often overlook, but it's a beauty. Most of these companies, ZG Technology are a good example of this, will not put ZG Technology on one of their dozens of fake shopping sites. They'll use things like Marvel Hero and um, Dream Shop and Wonder Shop and Magic Store. They put all kinds of phony names on the front of their website. When you finally get through to the PayPal part and you see who you're actually paying, that's the name of the company that the money is going to. At that point, before you send the money, Google the name of the company. In this case, you would see ZG Technology, and this is what I did. I Googled them and I could see a whole list of people who have been complaining about them. And I thought, ah, this is probably going to be a scam. So that's where you, that's the best place to, so right before you send the money, look on PayPal and look who the actual company is, who the recipient is. Google that. The name on their, fo on their phony Shopify site, that could be anything. And finally, number one, the number one tip to not get scammed online. If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Common sense was screaming at me. There is no way that this is going to be an electronic, motorized, USB powered, fully functional Iron Man helmet for 50 quid. Ain't gonna happen. <sighs> But it's very tempting to go and, oh, what the heck, I'm protected by PayPal. The amount of hassle you have to go through then, so, you know. But that's the thing, impulse purchasing. They, they do everything they can to get you to buy now. Take a step back. If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Look on Amazon, look how much similar products are going for. Look at where other places have the same product for more money. And then, you know, think, hang on a minute, why is this £300 on Amazon and only £50 on this site that I can't verify? Just use a little bit of common sense sense with online shopping. Simple as that. And that's pretty much it. I hope this helps some of you from being ripped off. I'm, I'm kind of having fun with it. I'll be getting a refund shortly through PayPal because I did follow some of those steps. So, you know, but even if I don't, hey, it's a good video, right? I'm also behaving a little bit oddly at the moment because I came out of surgery yesterday, so that's why I'm feeling kind of dizzy. Yeah, true story. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was useful to you. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Give me your feedback. Have you been ripped off by any online shopping scams or are there any that you know of? Leave your comments below. Coming up on the left, or is that right, will be my most recent video and also the video that YouTube thinks you should watch next. And I shall see you in the very next show. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.